everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we're back with a unboxing now i believe this unboxing comes to us from craft ease but we'll just have to wait and see don't we so i hope you're all having a wonderful wonderful day i'm gonna try to do some surgery here to get into this it's in a bubble boot i'm not a fan of the bubble boot but i know there's double-sided adhesive in here so it's not gonna hurt that oh i'm popping Pop in the bubble boot. So let's see what we got here. Eh. Well, they taped it up good. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's see if we can get in here. Good God. All right. So. What do we have here? It looks like we have a couple of paintings. Now, the folks over at Craft E sent this out to me because they liked the last video and they liked the fact that I completed uh, uh, the, the Sybil Art Diamond painting that I was working on. Now, for those folks that were wondering what happened with the civil art thing, because as you guys know, civil art is, uh, she's licensed with DIY Moon Shop as well. Well, apparently they struck a deal of some sort. They talked it out and Craft Ease will also be selling just a couple of her diamond paintings. So, uh, you will still see their, see that they are selling, uh, civil art diamond paintings on their website. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. I can just pull it out the front here. So yeah, so they, they packed it up really well. Good God. All right, let's get the rubber bands off. The rubber bands are taped down. Good gravy. How am I supposed to get in here? Oh my God, I keep putting my knife away not thinking I need it. All right, there we go. So we're gonna get into this first box first. Again, the rubber bands were taped down because I, I think they were afraid somebody was going to take it. All right. We're going to get into this one first because I saw the picture on this one. So this is another one of Civil Arts images that they wanted to send out. They had a couple more that they decided to use. So this is the one. I believe her name is Flora. Isn't she gorgeous? She's so pretty. All right. And again, we're going to need a knife again. I keep putting it away like I'm not going to need it. Um... There's a lot of plastic on here. Well, just know, they they, sh they package things very well. Like, it'll take you a while to get into there. And, of course, we know that they're poured glue, true to size, all that fun stuff. <sighs> there we have it. Let me get rid of that box. It's in plastic here. We got a tool kit, wax, cheapo tweezers, two squishies, two pins. We all don't care about that get out of here let's see what this canvas is looking like though so they have really good quality canvases i can vouch for that from the last kit that i did oh my god this is gorgeous all right so this one is a 50 by 40 looks bigger than a 50 by 40 i hate to tell them so we're gonna pull this plastic back look at how beautiful it is oh my god the colors are so vibrant all right, so we're gonna try to ease this back down onto the kit here. I just want it to lay flat because there's a little bit of a crease in the middle of the kit. Not that it will uh, affect anything too much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my ruler out here. I'm gonna try to lay this down as nicely as possible. just to get it to lay flat. Now, it, to store it, since I won't be working on it right away, I will put it back in its box. But because I'm gonna have to like fadangle with it and show you guys, I wanna make sure it's nice and flat for me. Thank you, T-Square. All right, so here she is. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And hold on, there's a big old bubble right there. 
Alright, alright, I promise to stop fiddling with it. As soon as I get all these bubbles out of it. Alright, so... 50 by 40, so we're going to measure this. Good God. The struggle bus is real today, ain't it? Hold on. All right. Now that I'm done with the struggle bus, let's take a look at the drill field, which I can already tell is going to be nice and clear. I can see it all the way from up here, uh, but I want to get you guys down close in the nitty gritty. Now, it looks like they do have some training wheels here. Um, I'm not sure why, because they don't seem to have them anywhere else. I do apologize about that. Let me turn that off real quick. There we go. So... The rest of the symbols look good. I don't know why L has a thing on it. I'm thinking that's just to differentiate it from the rest of it. But uh, symbols look nice and clear. So let's check out and can we measure to see if it's true to size? If I remember correctly from last time, it was true to size. So we got a nick before 50 and... A nick before 40. So it is true to size, 50 by 40. Again, it is Sybil Art. They had another couple of her new images come out. Here are our drills. Let's see if we... Ooh, I see special drills in there. One thing I do like about this company is that they do use special drills in their kits. And as you can see, all the flowers like flow... Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get you an aerial view of the entire kit here. As you can see, the flowers like flowing through this kit. So it's really, really pretty. And it has 28 colors. So let's see what all special stuff comes in this kit. This la The last kit I worked on was a joy to work on. I did run out of like, I think it was like 29.15s, but that is not a big deal because I had my own in my storage. Um, holy crap, look at that. What number is that? 1034, number 14, which is 718. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 718. And they're in those good bags with the gray... Uh, strip on them, which you don't tend to have problems with those too much. Let's bring you down a little bit here. We got some three tens there. The drill quality from the last kit I had was immaculate. It was great. I loved it. Um, as, and as far as I know, just from the last video, uh, they do only sell round kits. All right, that looks much better. Sorry, you looked a little foggy there for a second. But they do only sell round kits. I know on their website it showed, I don't know if it's, I don't think it currently shows. But I know on the website it did have the examples in uh, squares, but they do not sell squares. They only sell rounds as far as I know. So if squares is something that you're interested in, uh, you might want to check out DIY Moonshop. I know they give you the option between square, candy, which is rhinestone, and round. But this company here only does round as far as I can tell, um, which I'm completely okay with because, you know, rounds are shape too. So we got a couple of bags of 310s there. We have some purple rhinestones, which is going to be number five. Number five, it says, and it, oh, it highlights it. Look at that. 155 is going to be letter Y. Y, is it this color? So we have some Ys right here. We got some more Ys over here. And over here. I'm so excited about this kit, y'all. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. So we have a couple rhinestones there. We have some more here, which is number three, which is 102, which is letter Z. And then we have some letter Zs here going up some of the flowers. And we have some more Zs right here on this purple flower down by her neck. You guys, this is going to be such a pretty kit. Oh my gosh. Thank you to the folks over at Craft Ease for sending this over to me. I'm so happy you liked the last video. Uh, moment of silence for the drill that didn't make it. It tried to practice social distancing and get back home. It just wasn't fast enough for these crafty streets. Amen. So, And of course, there's always one. There's always one. They got to be hard-headed and not practice in social distancing. So there's another color in there. We ain't going to worry about it because I'm pretty sure that's going to be that 7, uh, 18 color. So... That is our first strip of drills there. Ooh, I see white. Look at that. It's like a diamond. 
we have a white rhinestone, which is number 28, which is, I think that's supposed to be number one. Are there number ones on the kit? I'm not seeing any number ones. What symbol is that? Oh, duh, I'm, I'm a dumb. It's not number one, it's letter L. It just says one, but it's letter L. So the L's that are in those those uh, round, uh, and, to, and the dummy circles, sorry, training wheels. Uh, and the training wheels uh, are going to be this crystal white rhinestone color. Isn't that pretty? So let's see where we have number ones at. We have them here in this flower, in this flower, over here, some in this flower. Um, of course, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four. So sprinkled a good amount throughout the headdress and with all the flowers and everything. So let's take a look at the rest of these drills here. I think that's, that's all the special drills we're going to have. Purples and oranges. Lots of bright, vibrant colors. I am here for it, okay? Like, oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. So, uh, let's lift you up. I'm wondering why you're so close to my face. So that is the two strips of drills that come with this. We have three special uh, drills, which are rhinestones in this kit. Um, I'm not sure if this company does ABs or not, but I know they do rhinestone mixtures with their kits. So, which I don't remember uh, if the first unboxing I did, if it was only the Civil Arts that had the special rhinestones. But uh, I will link it up in the eye, of course, so that you guys can go take a look and remind or for refresh both of our memories on whether or not the other kits had rhinestones. But I know this one does. But yes. Uh, Craft Ease broke a deal with DIY Moon Shop and Civil Art to be able to sell a couple of her items in their shop as well. And if you notice, it won't say exclusive anymore because she's no longer exclusive with like DIY Moon Shop or just with Craft Ease. So, yes. So, if you are wondering how they were still able to sell, that is how. That is their business, not ours. All I know is I'm here for it. They're licensed. They're good quality. I am definitely here for it. So... That is the first box. Now, I'm not sure what's in this second box. So we're going to take a look at that together. So, uh, we're going to try to get these uh, back in here in some kind of way. Oop. Nope, that's not the bag for the drills. That's the bag for the drills. Let me get these back in here. So let's check out the next box. Are you ready? All right, so here's the second box. There's no picture on this box, so I'm not sure what's in this box. So let's take a look. We'll, we'll be surprised together. Whoa, that's not a diamond paint. Get out of here, box. What do we got here? Oh my God, that's so pretty. I love art. It's a Craft East tote bag, you guys. Now, I, I like, at this point, I collect all these like little tote bags. Uh, and this is freaking adorable. You got your paint brushes here because if you didn't know Craft Ease actually does also sell paint by numbers. I don't get down with paint by numbers, but that's cool They can do their thing boo-boo, okay, but I get down with diamond painting So you got the splash of watercolor in the background and it says I love art with the hearts and the diamond painting and the paintbrush And it has Craft Ease logo on it. That is so freaking cool I now have something to keep like all my other artist books in that don't fit in my diamond art book so bad <laughs> So again, thank you to the folks over at Craft Ease for sending this over to me. I do greatly appreciate it. It is beautiful, beautiful tote bag. And it just says, I heart art. Um, so if you are interested in getting either one of these things, I will, of course, link it down in the description box below of this video. Again, thank you to the folks over at Crafties and thank you for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about Crafties or anything I showed in this video, please feel free, of course, as you know, to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer the best that I possibly can. But with that said, if you're also new to the channel and you have yet to hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. What you waiting for? It, don't, it won't bite you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, 
it's random. But with that said, I got to get out of here. So thank you so much for watching. And always remember, wear your mask. Don't, well, wa I'm sorry. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.